Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Guys, right now I'm standing outside Newton School of Technology in the Rishud campus in the Delhi NCR region. Newton School of Technology has been the talk of the town this admission season and today I will be taking you guys across the whole campus, showing you guys about the hostel, classroom, sports area, mess facility and a lot more. Without any further ado, let's get started. Wow, the first impression, the campus looks huge with these tall buildings and it's very green. Okay, so our first stop is the Block A Admin Block. This is where you'll find the offices of the deans and all the high authority people. Uh, by the way, Newton School was started by the alumni of IIT Roorkee with the aim to really change the way education is taken forward and making sure that students be in the top 1% by getting the best pedagogy and helping you develop your personality by getting the best faculty. Without any further ado, now let's take you to the classroom. Okay, wow, so... This is one of the classrooms here at Newton School of Technology and this looks really very good and modern. A very good thing is, my first impression is that they've got a docket here to charge which is very important specifically when you're studying relating to tech. Uh, this is one of the styles of the classroom, they've also got other styles. One of them is like a group study hall where people will sit in groups and study. The best part about these classrooms is that they have everything that one could ever need. Uh, they're all air conditioned so it's centrally air conditioned which you would need here in the Delhi NCR region. All of the classrooms have got the projector and the whiteboard which is very important. Uh, they've got good amount of lighting uh, coming in from this side which is natural light. Another very important thing that I wanted to share with you all, see one of the best parts about Newton School of Technology is their top-notch faculty because they are getting the faculty from MIT, Duke and IITs and trying to get you the best possible and hands-on education one can ever get. Let's check out other things in the store. Okay guys, right now I'm inside one of the very unique areas you will ever find in an institute. So basically this is the mentorship area. Newton School of Technology will be providing you access to more than 500 mentors from the top of the industry and the best of the firms like Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Flipkart. These mentors will guide you through your whole career progression and the mentorship ratio is 1 is to 20 which is super super good and these mentors will basically be holding your hand and taking you forward in your life and this is where all the magic will happen. Guys right now I am standing inside the heaven for any tech student which is the computer lab here at Newton School of Technology. All I can see and smell here is just Apple products. I will not be very shocked if they very soon have an Apple Vision Pro kept here. So basically the degree that Newton School of Technology is offering is a Bachelor's in Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence and this is where you'll be learning hands-on data structures and algorithms, machine learning, image processing and a lot more. Another very cool thing is that each and every student here will be provided with their personal and own MacBook Pro which is like a wow. Oh my god, wow. Guys, right now I am inside the boardroom of Newton School of Technology and it is giving me a full business vibe. I don't know whether the camera can really do justice but this is a very huge room. Another very cool thing about Newton School of Technology is that they are really pushing their students forward for entrepreneurship and for that they are willing to provide students with 1 crore rupees of seed funding. So basically you don't need to drop out of your college to start a startup, you can do that while inside the college itself. As well as you will get a chance to pitch to the top VCs and angel investors in India. And they will be providing you not only with money but also with incubation, mentorship and a lot more. And I guess this is going to be one of those rooms where you'll be coming and uh, probably fundraising or meeting with your teams. So pretty fancy room this one is. Guys, it's 1pm here at Newton School of Technology and 1pm means it's lunch time. But before I take you to the mess area, 
the weather gods today have been really very kind it's drizzling a little bit and it's windy so the weather is amazing and the campus looks surreal in this time with like all the greenery around and this whole brick style of buildings that they've got which are super good come now uh, we are hungry so let's build some appetite and let's go for lunch Okay, so they've got two floors of the mess area. This is where the students and the faculty members come and eat all their meals. Uh, they will be providing you all different kinds of cuisines, whether it's North Indian and South Indian. Along with that, if you want to order something of your own, there are also separate canteens that you could order from. Uh, let me go and put some food for myself. Catch you guys in a bit. Guys, I'm done with my lunch and my energy is at an all-time high. I was going to take you all to their library which I've heard a lot about, but before that I came across this floor which is called the creative floor. This is one of the most aesthetically pleasing floors you'll ever come across. Each and every item that you see here is made by the students. I wish I could take a couple of items home. Come let's take you to the library now. Okay guys, I'm finally inside their library about which I've heard a lot and it truly does justice to whatever I've heard about because it looks fab. Uh by the way, this is their stack section where you'll find each and every book that you really need whether it's for your recreational purposes or for research purposes. This side is the individual study area. where if you want to study in silence this is where you'll come and do complete all your assignments on my left here are the individual group study areas or the group discussion areas where you all can come code together plan together and those are those mini meeting rooms or the group discussion rooms this is the group discussion room in open to be very honest the library looks fab i'm already in love with the colors and the way this whole thing is designed it looks really very good this is their research terminal area where you will get access to each and every e resource that you need whether you want to file some papers or anything like that this is going to be that area this is their newspaper section and the magazine section area with the top magazines by the way i'm not done yet there's also something very unique to newton school of technology which is their open library come let's take a tour of that oh my god wow This looks fab. This looks like a rooftop cafe area of a restaurant. In a weather like this, open library is heaven. I mean all you need is coffee and your best books and you are sorted. I'm pretty sure students will be using this area the maximum with a great view and weather. This is great. Okay guys I'm going to take you to one of my favorite parts of any campus tour which is the auditorium come let's go Oh my god This looks surreal the auditorium guys looks amazing It has a seating capacity of more than 400 people and looks very very modern with like proper lighting projector all of that I'm pretty sure this auditorium will be used by students for multiple things not only for guest lectures or dignitaries arriving on the campus but also for a lot of the cultural and recreational things I'm pretty sure this stage will be used by students for dance music theater and I feel all of this is very important for your holistic development so it's just not only about studies but it's also about putting your talent forward and this is going to be that go to place for anybody who's uh, culturally very enthusiastic and would want to learn or do anything or possibly anything that they can this is going to be that area i'm in complete love with this guys i'm going to be giving you a tour of their sports arena but before that one of the major doubts that i've gotten from people is about the placements here at newton school of technology but before i even talk about the placements One of the major things that they've done really well is sorted out your internships. Now in a lot of the other institutes and colleges, students have to fetch internships on their own and they majorly get it in subpar companies. 
but Newton School of Technology has taken the onus on themselves of helping you get internships. So basically, they will be providing you with six months of mandatory paid internship in the top MNCs, which is a really very good thing. Along with that, they will also be helping you go for study trips and tech conferences across the world and the tech hubs of the country, like the Silicon Valley in the US or Singapore and Israel, which is a like amazing thing. Along with that, now finally coming to the placements. Basically, Newton School already has an alumni of 2,500 plus students placed in 1,500 of the top MNCs and global tech firms. The average package will be somewhere around 12 lakh rupees. But come, let's go to the sports area now. Guys, right now I'm standing on the lawn tennis court of Newton School of Technology. Basically, they are really very big on sports. Not only they have the outdoor sports facilities, but also indoor sport facility covering each and every sport that you can name off. And right now, like I said, I'm standing on the lawn tennis court. Behind me, there are the basketball courts there. Along with that, on my left hand side, they have the cricket nets, the volleyball field and the football field. I can't wait to show you the indoor sports area. Come, let's go for that. Guys, my first stop inside the indoor sports arena is something which is like a rare find on a campus. Which is their indoor swimming pool. In a weather like this, I literally feel like jumping inside the pool. Uh, I'm pretty sure students will be using this a lot. This is basically a mini size Olympic pool. So even if you want to prepare for official competitions, you could do that here. Come, let's check out one of the other things in store. Taking a tour of their sports complex, I have gotten very enthusiastic and energetic. This is their multi-purpose hall, which is their indoor badminton area. Oh my god, wow. This looks fab. Firstly, it's huge. And then you've got four of the badminton courts. So for all the badminton lovers, this is going to be heaven. Fab, already a fan of it. Let's check out the other things. Oh wow. Another very rare find on a campus is a squash court. I don't know how to play squash, but for all the squash lovers, this is amazing. Like I said, it's usually not available in a lot of the campuses, but they have one, which is great. Another room that I need to be really taking a tour of and need to be hitting super soon is the gymnasium. Wow. Okay, so their gym is literally filled and packed with all the modern amenities, dumbbells, and a lot of the equipments I don't even know the names of which really means that I really need to be hitting the gym soon but for all you people, the gym enthusiasts this is where you're going to be burning a lot of the midnight oil and a lot of your sweat there is another room, come let's take a tour of that okay, this is called the learner's lounge this is more of a chill area I'm pretty sure as a student I would love to spend a lot of time here because you've got billiards and snooker table You've got the TT tables here. So for all the table tennis fans, you can be spending a lot of time here. Along with that, here is the carom. So for all the carom lovers, you can be spending time here. And in fact, carom is known a lot for bonding with friends. And then chess to let your nerves be running and ticking. All in all, I'm in love with the sports complex. Like I said, they're pretty big on sports. And I'm pretty sure students will be spending a lot of time here. This is literally going to be their home away from home. Okay guys, right now I'm outside Residency 1, which is basically the hostel block here at Newton School of Technology. One of the very cool things about their program is that it's a fully residential program, which means both boys and girls will be staying on the campus which I feel is a really very good thing because you can use all the facilities of the campus uh, and be around the campus throughout. Now I'll give you a tour of one of the rooms here. Come, let's go. Okay, so this is the corridor area of the hostel. One of the first things is that they've got these common areas where students can come and chill and enjoy the nice view. Now I'll directly take you to the rooms. By the way, the corridor that you see here, both on my left and my right are all the rooms. I'm going to be giving you a tour of room number 606. So in case anybody is going to be staying in room number 606, you need to comment and let me know. So this is the room. As you could see, it's in a double sharing style. So basically it's going to be shared by either two boys or two girls. The rooms look pretty good and modern. Uh, you've got the beds here. Along with that, under each of the beds, there is storage. So you can store all your personal belongings here. 
along with that uh, study tables are super important to get all your assignments and work done uh, and with the study table you also have a good amount of space to store things that you really need there's also good amount of view uh, of the outside which is really very good along with that here in the room uh, each of the students will be provided with the individual cupboards which again you can use to store your belongings and more amount of space so one of the things that i've seen is that they have good amount of storage space which i think everybody needs whether it's you wanting to store your extra clothes or luggage or your books another very important thing that you would really need in the delhi ncr region uh, is the ac each of the rooms here have got their own air conditioner which is needed to keep the temperature cool all the very time so i hope you like the room tour here Okay guys so I'm almost towards the end of my tour here at Newton School of Technology. I absolutely love taking a tour of the 25 acre campus and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Now I'm pretty sure you all would be looking out for information related to admissions and eligibility criteria. For that I would highly urge you all to please check out their website. I will be putting on the link in the description below for the same. The admissions here happen through NSAT which is Newton Scholastic Aptitude Test. By the way they are providing up to 100% scholarship if you do really well on your NSAT and on your interviews even though I've tried to cover each and every information that I possibly could if I've missed out on anything or if you have any doubts please make sure you comment below I'll see you all with another video super soon take care guys bye bye